How to manage a Google business profile. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be going over how you can manage your own Google business profile and update it according to the most latest trends and include all the recent updates that have been coming in. So let's get into it. Now, Google business is a basic way where you can list your business on Google Maps. So we have detailed videos on the channel on how you can get started with listing your business on Google business. So you can, you know, create your business profile and it takes some time to actually get verified. So if you haven't created your account already on Google business or haven't listed your business on the map yet, make sure to do that because it takes some time for you to get your verification. But once you have done that, you can simply head on over to Google Business Profile and click on Manage Now and you can just sign into your Google account that you have used. And you can see over here, I have two businesses. Now, just as an example, let's take a look at Jane's Lash Studio. If I click on it, this will open up the Google listing that I have. This is my current listing and you guys can see it's quite hollow. Now, for any professional listing, there are a couple of things I recommend. And a lot of people don't even realize that they have this power. And you can just edit your business listing whenever you want. You're not bound to, you know, once you create your listing, you can't edit it. No, you're supposed to actually update it and edit it according to the latest trends, according to, you know, whatever is new, whatever are the updates that have been included in Google business. So what you want to do is depending on the type of business you have you can actually add product so you can click on edit product over here and you can click on get started and you can start adding your products directly into your google business listing this is a very helpful feature in case that your website viewership is going down or even if you have you know a good viewership on your website simply giving your customers access to access to purchase your products directly whenever they search for your business and having you know the products show up over here is a great way to enhance your sales and increase the number of sales that you get the next thing is to edit services. It's pretty much the same thing, depending on the type of business you have created, business listing that you have created. You might have services or products, or you might have both. For, you know, my business, which is a, a lash studio or a salon, I have my services and you want to make sure you add as many applicable services as possible, especially in the service industry. Why? Because when people are looking at a Google listing, and they're like, oh, this is the very specific thing I was looking for. So I can get it done from here. They are offering it and you write down the price for the service as well. That's a very important part. So you can choose to write down the price or if you want to maintain some kind of uh, exclusivity, you can choose to not write it. But I would recommend you give, you know, a ballpark idea to your customers to be able to see the prices. Then you have the messaging section. In your messaging section, you want to turn on the chat. Now, the reason you want to do that is because once you have turned on the chat, people can message you directly and your customers can ask you any questions that they have and you can reply to them directly using Google. And you don't have to wait for your customers to find your Facebook profile or find your Instagram and then have to contact you over there. That can be difficult or it can prove to be a hassle for your customers. And a lot of people are just not willing to do that. They can find the alternative business. So you wanna make sure your customer has as many opportunities as they might want. Now, another very important thing is that in the Q&A section, make sure you are adding relevant questions. Anything that might be a potential question like, do you provide this specific kind of service? And even though you might have listed it in the services section, if it is a frequently asked questions, if it's a popular new service, you wanna add it in the Q&A section, simply because when people are scrolling, they're more likely to just look at the Q&A section instead of reading the entire thing. Next up is adding updates. Now, updates are amazing because if you have any event going on, you can list it. If you have any promos going, if you're offering maybe ladies evening discount, a 10% discount for couples that arrive together, so on and so forth. These can be very enticing, especially even if they're as low as 10%, they can actually bump up your sales quite a lot because someone that might have visited your prof profile like twice, they might be thinking or considering like, hey, I might want to get, you know, this service done. What this will do is that that extra 10% discount, although it's going to be very minute for you, that 10% discount can lead to a lot of 
potential customers turn into converting and recurring customers your recurring customer might be like hey they have a promo now i might as well go one week earlier than what i was thinking just because they have a promo now and i could save a little bit of money and that is a great way to entice your customers Plus, you can click on add updates and add any kind of new information about your business. So you could be ordering online, buying, learn more, any new info about your business that could be relevant to your consumers should be added over here. And I recommend updating it very regularly. The reason for this is the more you update it, the more likely people are to visit your business listing over and over again, the more targeted ads you're, they are going to get from you. Because obviously with any business, you're probably running ads and you know they're going to target those potential customers over and over again. Now, a very, very essential part is adding a 360 view. If you click on photos, you can add photos and you have photos and videos. But if you can see over here, you have a cover photo, you have a logo, but if you go into your photo section, you can actually upload a 360 version. And if you click on any business over here, and if I expand my business listings, you have the street view and the 360 view. So the street view and the 360 view can really help people into navigating to your business. And you can just go into your photo section, take, you know, a panorama photo and upload it onto the platform. It's simple, it's easy, it's gonna take you less than 10 minutes to take a couple of panorama photos and upload them over here. Once you've completed all of these steps, you actually want to go on ahead and click on your performance. Monitoring your performance, seeing the overview that you're getting, if you're getting less business interactions, the calls, the messages, bookings, directions, website clicks, all of that is going to be valuable data. You want to summarize this data you want to see uh you know how the profile interactions are going if you change something and the interactions are going down you want to revert it back to the original if you boosted a certain type of promotion and your sales are going up and your performance is going up for your listing you want to offer those kinds of things more often now after that you have your review sections and one thing a lot of people don't even know is that if you go into your review section you can actually click on get reviews and once you click on that you can copy this link over here and ask your customers to give you a review this can be via email whatsapp or facebook i'm pretty sure a lot of you are collecting emails of your potential customers to offer them discounts or newsletters so make sure to ask them to review your business listing you can just copy and paste this link and a lot of people might not have think thought of it you know previously to review it but once you send them a link they are very very inclined to you know write a short review other than that you also have advertising tools with google which are super popular i definitely do recommend them it helps in building targeted ads for your business so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to manage your google business profile make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video